Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and I am blah. I about to went into my work spiel. I apologize. But yes, hi everyone. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And today I'm here to share my August TBR with you all. Originally, I thought I was just going to take August easy because I wanted to rejuvenate and be ready for space opera September. And then I heard of a readathon. Oh, it's only the first two weeks of August. I'll have plenty of time to just mood read the rest of the month. Then I heard of another one. And it's only a week long and it's gonna be just fun. Probably won't complete it because I don't read that fast. Still, yeah. And then I heard about the third readathon about dragons. So yeah, I'm doing three readathons this month, or attempting at least three. Welcome to my crazy TBR, which not all of it is known yet. And I will explain. So for the first readathon, it is the Enneagram readathon. And then the Enneagram is a personality test. I always had a lot of fun doing these as kids. And this was one I had never done before. I'd only heard of it vaguely. So I decided, what the heck, let's go ahead and do it. So I'm gonna start with that one. That is the first two weeks in August. I guess I forgot to say that. So I am on, er, so when I did the Enneagram test, I came out as a seven, which is the enthusiast. Something that's funny is, as this one was described, everyone is like, this is the extrovert, and I am an introvert. I think I got it more because I am a fairly upbeat, positive person. Be like, hey, while life is going to shit, what good can I get out of this? So I think that's how I got that one. And for the first prompt, it's a hype book, and this is a book that... I've heard a lot of good things about, and that is Ray Bear by Jordan E. Fuego. And from the descriptions I've heard from other people is about a young woman who has been starved from, who has been starved of affection her whole life, and her mother, the lady, wants her to go and kill the prince after gaining his trust and becoming one of his Ray Bears. And like I said, this is a booktube darling, completely hyped, and I'm really excited to read it, which is why it's back here on my library shelf. And it's actually due back at the library on the 3rd of August and somebody has, else has a hold on it. So this is the first one I'm planning to read. And Sunday, the 1st of August, is just going to be a read binge day for me. All right. The second prompt is a middle grade. And so I looked at my library shelves because I have way too many books out from the library. And compared to Goodreads, and this book is, and this book has been listed as young adult and middle grade. So I'm using it as my middle grade prompt. And if it's slightly more, whatever, because as a middle grader, I was already reading teenage books and I see nothing wrong with it. And that book is a lot so way. From what I know of this, this is about a young woman who can interact with the ghosts of animals and there is a mystery to solve. And it is set in, it's like an alternative history because it's, uh, the description says it's an alternative America. And yeah, because my husband is Native American, I really am trying to read more Native American authors. Also because we have a little granddaughter and as she gets older I want to I want to suggest a wide range of books to her and not just green eggs and ham. So I'm excited to read a lot away. So the next prompt is to read in your favorite genre or subgenre and oh oh yeah I can easily do another space opera and that is Record of a Space Born Few by Becky Chambers. This is the third in her Wayfair series. They're companion novels. They don't follow the same characters. And I don't think we have any repeat characters, but it looks like this book follows 
or one of the characters in this book at least, will follow Ashby's sister. So I'm really excited to read this, uh, especially because then for se Space Opera September, I can read the last one, which I received as an arc through Goodreads, a Goodreads giveaway. And this is always nice to intersperse with some more heavy fantasy that you will see with the dragon prompts. And then the last book for this readathon is the group book, which I have actually decided not to do the seven group book because I'm just not interested in it. And I have too many books that I want to read this month to hazard a reading slump. So I'd rather read something I'm interested in. And the, and the first announcement video for this I watched was, or was from Chelsea, and she said you could read any of the group books. So I went and I looked to see which group book interested me, and I chose Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Bouillet. This is about a biracial girl who is coming into her own with her culture, and it's another murder mystery. And then that ends the Enneagram Readathon. The next readathon that I am participating in is the Choose Your Own Adventure readathon, also by Chelsea, which I will link her announcement video down below. And this is the one that I don't have any books chosen for prompts because I don't know what they are. It starts the week after the anagram. Nope. So the anagram readathon is the first two weeks. This is the third week in August. And just like you choose your own adventure stories, you get a prompt and then you make a decision and then you read from there. All right, so now we are at the third readathon, which is the Draconathon by Jaded Reader and Soleil, I think is her name. I just follow the Jaded Reader on YouTube at this time. And actually, they, I saw somebody else's TBR for this, which reminded me that this was going on. and. I like dragons. I like dragons a lot. How the Draconathon works is you have five dragon prompts and then they also give you five world prompts to kind of match those. So if you aren't interested or can't find something with the dragon, with the dragon prompt, you can do a world prompt and the world prompt doesn't have to have a dragon. So it gives you some options. Out of the five prompts, Four of mine have dragons. Actually, and I think all four are on the recommended list that people have put out. And four of them are currently on my shelf from the library. The other one is waiting to be picked up. It's ready to be picked up. I just haven't gotten to the library to do so. So the first prompt, or I'm not going to give a description of the dragons. I'm going to tell you to go watch Jaded Reader's explanation of the readathon video as she goes more into why certain prompts were chosen. I'm just going to tell you what I have chosen. So for Chiwen, the dragon prompt is poetry. And I chose, and I chose Beowulf. And this is, I've heard this version called the Bro Beowulf version. And it's supposed to be more of a modern translation and yeah, this will be fun. I've only read pieces of Beowulf before in like high school English class and the epic poem was interesting to me and I've always wanted to read it. So I'm interested in reading many versions of this. So the next prompt is Nidhogg and it's a morally gray villainous point of view or main character. And the book I've chosen for this, I don't know if it has that specifically. But the world prompt is Scandinavia or Europe, and I chose The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn, which is the book waiting to be picked up from the library. Because, well, from this picture that I know I have up, you know this book is going to have dragons in it. And the author himself has said that it is inspired by Scandinavia, so has dragons, I just don't know if it has the morally gray. So the third prompt is Nanabole, which is a beautiful cover. And I found this was on the recommended list and I was like, oh hey, I have that on my shelf currently waiting to be read. And that is The Bone Chips. And 
this is a very nice looking cover. I have no qualms with it. You have the definite dragon theme and I am excited. I don't actually know much about this. I just heard, I think, I just heard Katie over Brightness, Katie Reads, talk about this series and I just went, man, yeah, I'm willing to check it out without knowing too much more information. So I look forward to finding out more about it. All right, and for prop number four, that is Tiamat, which features rivers and or oceans. And I chose The Black Coast by Mike Brooks. I was actually surprised when I got this because this is not the cover I've seen from other people. And while I still like it, I was really looking forward to getting to see the other version. Just because it's so pretty. But this has water. And it has dragons from the description. It talks about the people of this village or of, of this town have ride dragons. So, yay. All right. And then, so prompt number five is Agnot, which is disaster, chaos, and or poison. And I am using the world prompt for this one, which is the Wyandotte Heron people or indigenous North America. And I am using a Latsaway for this prompt. So it's doubling up with two readathons. Be really bad if I don't read it. So please check in to see how I do. I am thinking of vlogging my reading experience with the Choose Your Own Adventure readathon just because, hey, it'll be something different. But yeah, let me know what you're planning to read in August. If you like my content, please subscribe so you get to see more of it. And have a great day. Thank you. Bye.